Did you know back in 2004 that two guys had met at a party and created a makeup and skincare line? Yeah, they did. Their names are Joseph Shama and Scott Vincent Borba, and together they created ELF. And in 2014, ELF sold their majority stake to TPG Growth, and then in 2014, they changed their president, CEO, and director of cosmetics to Tarong P. Amin. Now, obviously when ELF first started, they were a 13 product company, and now they make over 300 products. So with that being said, let's dig in and get to know some of the products together using the products this week. And I can't say that a week is enough time to actually try out and make sure that the products work well for me, but you can kind of tell if something's gonna work for you or not. So I wanna give you a little heads up. I don't want you to run out and buy everything that you see. I want you to make sure it works for you, even if it is on the cheaper end, because this is a drugstore related brand. Now, I went ahead and picked up a kit so I wasn't wasting time, effort, or money. And in this kit comes the daily face cleanser, the daily hydrating moisturizer, and the illuminating eye cream. And then I went above that and bought some of the hydrating booster drops and the beauty shield. Now with that, I decided to give it all a shot and I went all in for a week. And I'm not gonna lie, I like the majority of the products, but I do not like a couple of the products as well. Now, to be fair, I am a little particular on my skincare but I'm gonna go over some of the stuff and my reasonings for not liking it or not feeling like it's good for me, but it may be great for you, especially if you're just starting out. So with that, the Daily Face Cleanser, it has some pretty decent ingredients in there. Um, if you ever wanna see what your ingredients are, if you look, there's usually on the back, not always. Sometimes you have to find it on the box. First four to five ingredients are the ingredients that have the majority stake in the product. The later on in the lineup is the least amount of product. I wanna check to see if it has any of these on there. This right here is your expiration date. Now there's no specific date on there because they don't start to expire until you open that and that air gets in there to start oxidizing the product. Now for me, this is 12 months. Most of the things are 12 months except for the Beauty Shield. The Beauty Shield was only three months. The Daily Face Cleanser, I really liked it. It was soft, it didn't dry out my skin very much, it was nice and hydrating, but be careful so you don't waste it. It's only five ounces, seems like a lot, but I will tell you what, the first time I opened it and started to pour it out, it poured everywhere. And it's kind of soft that way and liquidy in that kind of concept, so it comes out really quickly, so you wanna be careful with that. It doesn't have any parabens in it. There's no sulfates or phthalates. So other than that, it's a pretty great product and I really like it. Now, the hydrating booster drops, I kind of like a lot. It's a little bit of a thicker, I don't know if you guys can really tell, consistency of a serum, and you can use it alone, or you can actually mix it into your moisturizer or your foundation. So for me, today I'm gonna put it in alone. And normally I would put it in with the moisturizer, but I'll tell you why I'm not gonna do that. But I'm just gonna rub this in because I, li I like that extra hydration. Now, this actually helps create plump looking skin. It's concentrated, so that's why it's thicker. And like I said, you can use it alone or you can mix it in with some other things if you'd like, it doesn't matter. The Illuminating Eye Cream is like a hit or miss for me. I'm really particular because I do use another brand quite often, but it's hydrated and helps minimize the look of dark circles and puffiness. I don't have too bad. Now you can see I'm a little dark under there, which I always kind of am, and I don't really feel a difference when I use this compared to when I use something else. Um, it does feel a little softer, but I think it's because it has purified water and vitamin E in there, but I just kind of dab it in and put it on everywhere, just like this. There. Now in the directions, it actually says to start from the inside of the eye and work your way out, patting and doing a little bit in the brow. Now I disagree with that because you have this muscle right here and if you constantly are pulling, you're eventually gonna get sagginess underneath your eyes defeating the purpose. So I always work my way out to in, whether I'm dabbing it or massaging it. Either way, this is actually a better routine. I promise you. 
Now, I usually like to let my stuff set about 30 seconds before I move on to the next one. And for that, I'm actually gonna go into the Beauty Shield. Now, the Beauty Shield is a product that I've heard good and bad things about. Um, some people don't think it does anything and some people think it's amazing. And for me, I mean, I've only used it for a week and I haven't really noticed anything, but I do love the smell because it's very citrusy. It's very watery, very thin, unlike the hydrating booster drops. Now I'm using four to five and I'm just gonna bring that in and bring that down into my neck area. It's got, it's antioxidant enriched. It's a skin protection. It's really thin and lightweight. It has vitamin C and vitamin E. Refine and brighten skin tone and reduce the look of fine lines and protects your skin against everyday environment. But if you remember what I said, it only has a three month shelf life. So once you open it, you need to use it. The one I'm not so fond of, and I apologize if you guys love it. It's just not for me. The Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I used this a lot, like my normal skin routine, and it is not a fan of me. Now, the Daily Hydration Moisturizer is very light. It has a low scent. It's infused with purified water, jojoba, aloe, vitamin E, cucumber, and it's rich in antioxidants. Now, with saying all of that, I didn't care for it. To be honest, it had too many products too many ingredients in there that my skin did not like. Now, normally, I have no problems with any products that I use, none whatsoever. The first day I used this product, I started getting red in my neck, a little itchy on my face, stuff like that, and I couldn't figure out why at first, so I dug deep and went looking into the ingredients, and it has butylene glycol. It sounds worse than it actually is. In skincare, it's used to increase penetration by other ingredients that are in the formulation. Now, many skincare creams and serums have active ingredients that have a molecular weight that's a bit too large to be effective enough to actually penetrate the skin. Heavier molecular weight, only a fraction of the beneficial ingredients actually penetrate into the skin to do what it's supposed to. The rest gets stuck on the outside and don't really do the job that it's supposed to. So by companies adding this product or this ingredient into this product, it increases the skin penetration and it's also used to kind of thin out the cream. It's very, very so it acts as a little bit of a solvent. And I know what you're thinking, solvent on my skin, why would I wanna do that? But technically it actually makes all the ingredients mix better together. It also acts as a little bit of a humectant um, and the property is drawing the moisture into your skin instead of sitting on the outside. My now, problem with the product is hydrogenated poly, sorry, I'm trying to say this word, polyisobutin. It's a synthetic oil that is used as a mineral oil substitute. I am not a fan. It can have the potential to give side effects, and I had one, and it includes skin irritation and inflammation, which made my neck and my face all red and blotchy. Well, I chose not to use that anymore. It has diamethicone in it. Now, diamethicone is a product that you either love or you hate. And me, I'm not the biggest fan of having it in my skincare, but I don't mind it in some of my makeup. It's a silicone-based polymer. Polymer meaning it's a large molecule made up of several units, right? So basically, it's a silicone oil and it's man-made. It makes products easily spreadable so you can get it all over your face. If overused for daily skincare, it can actually make skin drier and worse over time by using it all the time. It can actually trap everything underneath it instead of making your skin breathable. It, it makes everything kind of stuck in there. So bacteria, sebum, impurities. So I would steer clear if you're someone who tends to get a lot of blackheads or whiteheads or breakouts acne, this is not the product for you. If you use too much, it can actually keep the skin from performing the duty that it's supposed to, which is regulate your temperature by causing you to sweat. 
It'll actually block some of your pores and you won't be able to sweat the way you're supposed to if you're not careful with dimethicone. Now, it can also cause irritation. But if you're someone who doesn't have a sensitivity to anything, there's no problem with you using it. I didn't know I was sensitive to it. I didn't know I was sensitive to anything, but using it the last few days, I was red and blotchy all over the place. It wasn't until I cut it out. I used other things and I was fine. I still use the Beauty Shield, I use the hydrating drops, I tried them all separate. The daily hydration moisturizer was not it for me. So if you're looking to try skincare, it's okay. Um, I've had better, but I'm not gonna knock it either. Like, I like a lot of the things. I don't really see that much of a difference with the eye cream. The hydrating booster drops, I actually really like. I like the daily face cleanser a lot. You know, it's cheaper. And, you know, I feel like I'm at least getting my money's worth. And I don't mind the Beauty Shield, but I really don't see a big difference. But it's only been a week for me. Um, but not for me. Not at all. So I hope this gives you guys a little heads up on what's going on with e.l.f. skincare. Now they do have other types of products. These were just the ones that I picked up to try. And really I only had one little fail that I didn't like because I broke out with it. And other than that, it was okay. I would give it a, a C plus. Maybe a B minus. It wasn't bad. So on that note, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll be back tomorrow as I go over e.l.f. makeup because what's better than trying two different products from the same company, right? Until then, I'll see you later.